right, I'm checking the signal here in the Twin Cities in the Fridley, Minnesota area. Fridley, Minnesota. I'm, uh, I've got my antenna pointed at uh, Shoreview. Basically, I'm using this stacker. It's called the stacker. It's a VHF and UHF together. And uh, we're just checking the signal here. This is TPT2. Um, RF 34 and I'm gonna have to do this fast because I ran out of time before so we're gonna check the the signal here and as you can see it's it's dropping out and you have some pixelation going on on RF 34 and now I'm gonna switch it to um, RF 23 which I believe that that signal has more of a, a stable signal so that's 2-3 and I'll check that real quick here since I don't have that much time so each time I have to do this then we got uh, five lines there alrighty and then I'm gonna go to uh, RF32 and you're gonna see a difference in these broadcasting how they broadcast their signal the stronger uh, signals coming off the towers. RF32 from channel 4 is very strong. That's that's full power. That's nine lines. All right, now I'm going to go to RF35. And for some reason, I've been having problems with uh, KSTP RF35 for some reason. And basically, I'm using a Samson TV here with the digital tuner in it. It's a 2005. And you can see their signal there, but it's just not enough to, for some reason, it's not locking it in. It's kind of freezing up, but it's there. I'm going to take go to RF, RF45, which is the next one. 5-2, that's RF45. And we'll check that signal from over the air broadcasters from Shoreview. And you can see I got five lines there. Now we're going to take it up to channel nine, which I got to move quick here because I'm running out of time. This camera does not give me enough time to go through all the channels. But I'm just trying to get the, the RF channels. This is channel nine, which is RF 29 WFTC. And you can see on the UHF, you got nine lines. That's four full power there. Shouldn't have any issues there. We're going to go to RF9, which is KS, K, KMSP, KMSP. So we're going to take it there, which is on the VH, VHF line of things. And that's also full power. Very strong signal. All right, we'll go to channel 11, CARE. And we'll check their signal. There's going to be full lines, nine, nine lines, full power. And I'm going to go to channel 16, a low power station, 15 kilowatt station on the UHF band, RF16. And that's also six lines, or actually, uh, that's six lines there. And then we'll go to... Spanish channel and uh, let's see what they have I think that would be also six, uh, 15 kilowatts and they're at uh, seven lines all right and we'll go to 23 WCW and we'll check their signal And you can see that's uh, full power there. They got uh, also nine lines. All right, then we got to go to, uh, I think they're just low power TV stations now from here on. 25, RF 25, UHF band, seven lines on that channel. Another Spanish channel, and then 
and I'm going to go to uh, 33, a religious channel, RF33, and they got uh, four lines, and I believe they're also at 15 kilowatts. And I think that's it. I think that's all I'm getting. Um, for some reason, I'm not getting uh, channel or RF40. 41 out of uh, St. Cloud, the Big Lake uh, Tower site, plus my antenna is not pointed that direction. But uh, these are the channels that uh, we're receiving here uh, in the Twin Cities, and that's uh, what I'm getting for, for strength on the channels. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have... Uh, any issues with the with any channels I'd uh, definitely call those channels up and talk to the engineer and see if they can give you any tips on how you can receive these channels or improve the signal for you but basically I'm using the amplification in order to lock the signal in without it they they don't work very good so basically you do need a good outside antenna or a good inside antenna so thanks for watching